Hey everyone, welcome back to Joystick News, your go-to spot for all things gaming. Today, we're embarking on a journey back in time to explore a game that's laid the groundwork for the RPGs we know and love today. I'm talking about none other than Akalabit World of Doom, a title that holds a special place in the annal of gaming history. But before we dive in, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe and ring the bell so you won't miss any of our gaming deep dives. Released in 1918, Akalabit World of Doom is often held as the first RPG for personal computers, crafted by young Richard Garriott, who later became famous for the Ultima series. This game was initially developed as a high school project. Little did anyone know, it would become a cornerstone of the RPG genre. Akalabit was born out of Garriott's fascination with tabletop RPGs, particularly Dungeons and Dragons and his desire to bring these adventures to the computer screen. Developed on an Apple II, the game presented a mix of 3D dungeon crawling and 2D surface exploration, a revolutionary concept at the time. What sets a color bit apart wasn't just its technical innovation. The game introduces player to a fantasy world governed by Lord British, a character that would become a recurrent figure in Garriott's later work. Player received quests from the mysterious lord, ventured into dungeon, filled with monster, and sought to amass wealth and survive the perilous depth. Looking at it through a modern lens, a Calabit's graphic might seem primitive, with its wireframe dungeon and basic text commands. But back in 1980, this was cutting edge. It wasn't just about the visual, though. A Calabit challenged player to strategize, manage resources, and navigate through dungeon with a sense of direction and purpose. It's fascinating to see how a Calabit influenced the RPG genre, not just as a historical footnote, but as a testament to innovation and the humble beginning of a complex game design. From this, rudimentary graphics and gameplay mechanics evolved the rich, immersive worlds we explore in modern RPGs. Games like The Elder Scrolls, Dragon Age, and even Final Fantasy owe a bit of their DNA to the pioneering work of games like Akalabit. It's a reminder that big things often have a small beginning. So what do you think about Akalabit World of Doom? Are there any retro games you'd love for us to explore next? Drop your thoughts and suggestions in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this blast from the past, give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching Joystick News and till next time, keep playing, keep exploring and never forget where it all began. Catch you in the next video.